Welcome to Smart256. Today we shall be visiting one of the investors, local investor. She has invested in many projects. She quitted being a teacher, a secondary teacher, to her own boss. She earns millions in poultry keeping. So today we shall be doing an interview with her to know how she did it and how she managed to run all that project so keep around watch until the end shall be showing you how. so we shall be heading to see the project number one that she does in the village so, madam, how are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> how are you? Uh, well, I see you're dressed in a nice kit. What's that? This is an overcoat we usually put on when we are going to the poultry uh. Yeah. So, is it given to you freely by the company or...? Yes, it's from uh, Hendrix. Hendrix? So, uh, Hendrix. Tonga. Tunga Nutrition's, they are the ones who gave it to me. I think it's also like in uh, an appreciation for being a good customer. Oh. Yeah. So they also advertise through this? Yeah, it's also one of the advertising. Do you recommend them as uh, the best producers of, uh, of chicks? Yeah, these people are the best producers of, uh, of Hendrix Concentrate. These improved concentrate protein and whatever feeds we mix in a brand and, and broken maize for the good and fast growth of our chicks. Do they sell only food or they, they also sell chicks? They only sell food, the concentrate and the starter. Okay. Yeah. So we move on. This is the biosecurity, the disinfectant we, we have used so that if you are from outside and you have like pathogens, they are still from that disinfectant. Okay. Yeah. So when you step in it, that means that the, all bacteria and insects are, do that. Yeah, all other passengers and microorganisms, they are left there and they die. Okay, so how do you call this breed? These are chloida, the papas, chicken. Oh, and what's the meaning of duopapas? Duopapas, it's that they are good in eggs and also good in meat. The female birds, they produce good eggs and the Cokes also give good quality meat. So they are cokes and the hens? Yeah, they are mixed. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what about that side? Those are broilers. Those are broilers made for meat. Their purpose is only to be provide produce meat so we sell them they are now here on the market they are on the market edge we have reached already reached five weeks they are now ready for slaughter and we are already selling because you can see they are now few so how much is one each each 15 kilo. it's 15,000 yeah 15,000 oh so how many weeks do they have all months? These are five weeks old. They are five weeks old. That's one month and one week. One month and one week. Okay. We got them last month. Last month. Last month but one. On 29th. 29th of uh, Feb. Someone who wants to start such a, a project. Which advice can you give him or her? Someone who, who wants to start a poultry unit or poultry business, 
first of all, he has to first uh, secure some capital that is required to buy the chicks, the feeds, these feeders and drinkers, and even to construct some shelter for the chicks. So if I want to start with a uh, hundred chicks, uh, can you frame for me a small budget that uh, it could take me to start with a hundred chicks? If you want to start a with a hundred broilers or broilers? Broilers. So if you want to start with a hundred broilers, you have the working capital to buy birds, feeds, and what have to do is like eight hundred thousand. Not even a million. Not a million. You just buy chicks, and a hundred of them. For us, we buy from these are from Beanska, Beanska Poultry International. Each chicks, each chick is at uh, two thousand eight hundred. So you times a hundred, then the feeds up to the fourth week, you start selling. So that means uh, the budget that you have made does not include the housing. Yeah, for the minus chicks. the shelter, minus feeders and drinkers, only the working capital to buy chicks and to feed them, and even some some vitamins, some vac vaccines, up to the selling stage. So, uh, if I may ask, do those people deliver chicks to the farm? No. Or you have to transport them by yourself? You transport them from their center, from their distribution centers. Normally, in each district, they have a, distribute, a distribution point. And for us here in Ibanda district, we get them from Ibanda town. They have a branch there. Okay. Yeah. So if I may ask uh, for these drinkers, how much is each? Each drinker is 10,000. 10,000. Yes. Uh, you can see it's like not uh, as if it is not pure water. Do you include in some medicines? Yes. Or? There are some vitamins there to boost the growth of course and development of the chicken. So you have to add vitamins in the water. Yeah, if you want bloiders to grow on the, on the speed and the required and gain the required the required weight for market. So how about this? Is it brand pure or there is some mixture of proteins? This one is not pure bland. We mix we mix maize brand, broken maize. Then concentrate Hendrix, 25% broiler concentrate of Hendrix. Then we make these good feeds for the broilers. Okay, can we have uh, a little bit uh, one and see? Let's see. So this one is fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. And it can be eaten at that stage. Yeah, they are roasted and eaten. Okay. Our main customers are those people who normally lost them and deep fly them along the streets in town. Okay. Yeah. So you have already started picking eggs. Yeah, those cloilers lay eggs. How old are they? They are four months and a half. Okay. So we are on the section of the young ones. You say this is by what? By section. By section. Yeah. Okay. Ah, it's kind of dark, but we shall do it. Aine, you don't buy your own rice. 
So these are the cheeks. These are the cheeks. They are, they are also from this couple from International. Which is our main supply in the company. The company. And these are making two weeks tomorrow. Two weeks tomorrow? Yeah. So these are two weeks old. Not two weeks. We are making two weeks tomorrow because we brought to them on the 19th. 19th is the last month. So they are, only, they are only remaining with one day to make two weeks. Yes. Okay. So what are these? Those are heating points. It is a heating stove. So why do you put stoves in a... These chicks when are young, they want some warmness. So you have to provide uh, all conditions like their mother. So at fishery we use these heaters where we put charcoal and fire. We need to provide the required temperatures for the chicks to grow and develop well. So how do you measure the temperature that is required? So how to know the, the temperature, the required temperature that you have to observe from the chicks. When they are cold and they want some warmth, they tend to fire in one in one in corners. So they come together as in they, they seek for warmth from one another and they fire on one center or in corners. So the moment you enter and you see them piling in one corner, you have to know that they are in need of homes. And even you, when you enter, you also feel that it is cold. And you also have to do what? To increase on the heat. I can see there is no fire now. So, so there is no fire now because you can see them, how they are happy, how they are healthy, they are jumping. Meaning that the, the temperature is normal. Is normal. Okay. They have they have no problem with the um, with the temperature wrong. Okay. And that's why the fire is not there. But when it's, it's cold, you can see them. The, the cheeks are dull, not functioning. And you also have to sense that they need some warm also to, to be warm. So what do you use here down? You can see they are kind of dry. So we use uh, the, uh, what we use for litter, we use for facets and wood savings also. So they are the best? Yeah, they are the best. Most of the coffee are the best. They are good at draining and holding water. Mm. <laughs> So I heard of uh, they are immunized. Is it true that you immunize them before you bring them? Or yeah, those chicks when as we pick them, they are already vaccinated. The first dose, first two doses, most of the Marix vaccine for Marix disease and Newcastle IB one. So when we get them. We also vaccinate them Newcastle IB2 when they are 12 days, 14. So how many times do you immunize these chicks before you sell them off? They are only three, three times. Three times? We give Newcastle IB2 at 12 days of all, at 12 days of age, then Gombolo 1 at 14 days, then from there, from 24 days to, to the selling, we also give them Newcastle, Newcastle Prime, new, what they call Newcastle Lasota or Newcastle vaccine. And then the, the birds are now ready to be sold and very, very active and with a good immunity withstand all other diseases that they would meet in the environment. So uh, how old do you bring them from the uh, distributor? 
we to bring, your farm. We, okay. we bring them, we buy these chicks when they are one day old. So one when they old. are hatched, they pack them, they vaccinate, and they bring to distribution centers and they communicate to us. We get them when they are one day old. Okay. Yeah. So from one day to, to one month, uh, how can you budget for that feeding? Because you are already in the system, you may know that if I have 200 birds, I have to budget the cost of the feeding, maybe one million, maybe half a million. How does it take you to feed these chicks according to the feeds and what? Do you start them with a uh, with, uh, maize brand or there is other food that you use for starting with them to boost them? Okay, these chicks when they are one old, we feed them on what is called starter. Broiler starter, which is normally fed to them from day one up to 14 days. So, so that's the broiler starter? Uh, this is how it looks like. Okay. The broiler starter. And a uh, hundred chips are fed on 50 kilograms of a starter for two, for first two weeks. So when they are 200, you have to budget for a hundred kilograms of starter that will take you for the first two weeks before you make your own feeds. Where I have told you that we mix broken maize and maize brand then so, Hendrix burrito concentrate so what's the cost of the starter the cost of, of the starter is 50 kilograms how much 50 kilograms it is 140,000 140,000 yeah, and 50 kilograms can feed 100 birds uh, for two weeks. Yes. Okay. Then uh, the other two weeks, you mix your own feeds. If I may ask one last question Do you find this project profitable? Yeah, it's profitable because you cannot be in a business where you don't get something put in the pocket okay mm. at least you can get 15,000 each bite of a hundred chips so the, the more you you rare is the more you you you, you earn yes the more you rare is the more you earn because one worker who, look, who takes care of a hundred can take care of 500 Okay. And even these charcoal stove you've seen there too, they can be used for 100 and also for 500 chicks. Okay. Yeah. So the difference is the feeds. The, the difference is the feeds and the money to buy the chicks. Okay. Mm. And even the medicine also, you have to find the number of the chicks. So for those who who do deal in uh, in uh, roasting chicken meat and uh, those who buy to rare for more months yeah you can give them your contacts or where they can find you in case they want to purchase okay so excuse me So in case you are out there and you need to more or you need more advice uh, or you want to purchase some broilers for slaughtering and roasting, uh, let her give you her contacts and uh, tell you maybe where she is found for any business you can direct a transact with her. Okay. So I've... Uh I'm in Nishongoro, Ibanda district, Northwestern Uganda, of course.
and uh, your contacts? My contacts, um, I'm on MTN 0784-996696. Airtel? Airtel is 075-05-075. 510-424 So in case you have not had those numbers And very I, well. I can also give them uh, my email uh, What's your email? My email is mbawasabia 429.com okay. No, gmail At gmail.com uh, At gmail.com So in case you have not had those numbers very well I will be putting them in the description. If you have any business and you want to transact something with her, you will contact, you will check in the description box for her numbers. So I remain Smart256 and uh, today I have been hosting one of the prominent farmer who deals in poultry farming. She has explained very many things. In the case you have any question, write it in the comment section. I will be hosting her or she will be replying you directly. I will be forwarding the questions to her. And then Smart256, kindly go check me out. Watch until the end. Subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next video.